like to start this video with a confession. I spent way more time than I should looking at and touching my watercolor sets. Yes, I know how weird that sounds, but it's the truth. I guess it's because it's still kind of surreal to me that I get to do this now, you know, play with watercolors, test them out, paint pretty paintings, and share all of it with you guys. So in a way, I feel like I'm pitting two of my children against each other because guys, it is the watercolor showdown we've all been waiting for. Shaminka Horadam versus Windsor and Newton, two of the best watercolor brands out there. And I'm a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie, because the results may not be what I'm expecting. But I am absolutely certain we will have a lot of fun figuring it out. <laughs> okay, here's the thing, I have told you before, I am a Schmincke girl. I have been for a while now, I love the vibrancy and their color selection, but since I bought this Windsor & Newton set, I have been using it more and more because I always have the best time with them. They are a joy to paint with and the end result always blows my mind. So if I'm going to compare them, will this video actually change my mind? Will I become a Windsor & Newton girl and forget all about Schmincke from now on? Let's find out. <laughs> so here's what we're doing. I have 24 paints from my Windsor & Newton and my crazy extravagant 54 Schmincke Horridam set and let me show you oh look at that <laughs> and if you want to watch the unboxing and swatching of both I'll leave a link to both videos in the description for you but anyway I'll pick like four or five or even six colors each try to find the closest matches possible and then we'll do a few experiments we'll swatch we do a little wet on wet maybe try some lifting we'll see where this takes us and then before we're finished we will paint this very cute cat right here half with one brand and half with the other. But before we do that, you know, if you've watched my unboxing of this little beauty right here, you know that this cardboard does not work for me at all. I'm wetting the cardboard when I activate the paints, then the paints are really loose. Let me show you just how loose they are. I'm even afraid to move them, if I'm honest. Let's see, see, whoop, <laughs> yeah, this too. This is a major problem guys they're too loose they get glued they're really gelatinous i guess and they just didn't, don't dry completely and they get stuck on everything so they're moving around and then i put the brush and they end up doing this and then falling on top of others or the table or the painting there was so much drama in that video that i decided not to use these paints again until i got myself one a b before we start our little challenge, I'm going to move them from the card box to the metal box and I figured you'd want to watch. So let's see how they fit. <laughs> and I know that at the time I said I would change the order of these things because some didn't make sense to me, like this pink over here or the green that's mixed in with the blacks somewhere along here. You know, I said I needed to correct that, but ultimately I'm just going to trust Schminke and their choice of order and see how that goes in the long run. So let's start by ooh, okay. Let's start by filling this box. These look pretty great. Yeah, I think I'm gonna remove the box. So I'm just going to have to widen these. If I want to do this today. Two and three. Now this is a 48, 10, and I need 54, so hopefully I can get them all in here, but I'm not so sure I will be able to do it, we'll see. So 9, 10, 11. Now these, oh, they're really, really, they're dry, they're completely dry, and yet they just stick onto everything. Okay, yeah, okay. Let's do that then. That way I don't have to move them. And I love the little click. Yeah, love the click. <laughs> oh, don't, 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 don't. It will fit, it's fine. Okay, let's keep going. 
And I don't know if you can see how messy this box is, but it is a mess. Let's just speed this a little bit. I've decided to put the whites here. And there we go. Now let's assemble this box just to make sure, yeah, nothing there. See? Like I said, this is a stupid thing. <laughs> now one more thing I need to do is to remove this. Just takes up too much space for me. Plus it doesn't really go down. Um, I want to be able to mix my paints and I will be using this metal palette to do it, yes, but just not while it's attached to this box. I want the box close to me without having my painting so far away. Like if I wanted to paint this cat right now, I would have to have it here. Without this, I can have it right here and that's just so much better. Particularly if I'm recording, it just does not work. So all I need is a pen. Let me do this. I don't want to ruin my pen. Let's see, this pen is still okay. This side is. I just push it. Hmm. Okay, I know what I'll do. So I just get this one that I took off from another box. I really want it gone. Come on, work with me here. You know. Go. Aha! There you go. So now I have to. <laughs> And this big old thing is gone. And now we have my colors really close to my painting and this is the way I love it. Now for these smaller boxes, mm, I still haven't decided if I should take this one out. It doesn't take as much space, but still, yeah, I don't know. I could probably just take it off. Mm, I'm still deciding on the smaller ones, so let's just keep them as is for the moment. Okay. I've got my swatch paper right here with my black line of course because one of the things we're comparing is transparency you know the filler issue isn't really a thing for these brands because they are top quality so let's see uh, what colors do these have in common actually mm. we have our swatches over here sorry guys I'm still getting adjusted so Lemon yellow and Windsor yellow for sure. Let's try. So first Windsor, just because it's closer to me. So we do this. I like to dip. And then and now we have lemon yellow with the shriek. Yeah, I think they're similar. Canyon Free Red, which is this one, from Windsor and Newton. This is a super, super secret formula, by the way. No one really knows what's in the Canyon Free paint. Everybody, everyone's curious, I'll tell you that. Canyon Red, so it's this one. So you probably know this, but uh, Windsor & Newton is an English brand founded in 1982 and that's like before Queen Victoria became Queen. <laughs> Not much sooner, but still before. 
Uh, and the watercolors are manufactured in both the UK and France, I think. Some say it's just France, but I think it's also in the UK. Schminke is a German brand founded like 1881, and their watercolors are manufactured in Germany. Uh, let's see, okay, so we got the yellow, we got the red. Maybe go for a blue. What is the most similar? French ultramarine with maybe ultramarine finest. I'm not making a mistake, this is Schminke, yeah. Need a little bit more of that. Yeah. Okay. And this one is this. Oh, I don't think it's the right color at all. Or maybe I just put too much water in it. But that's okay. So as far as the range goes, Winsor Newton offers 108 watercolor paints and Schminke 139 if I'm not mistaken. So in the range aspect, Schminke takes the price. And unfortunately, it's kind of a draw as far as the animal ingredients used for the composition. Even though neither are animal tested, they do use ingredients sourced from animals in their paints, which I don't particularly like. I don't use animal hairbrushes, and I wish I didn't use paints with animal ingredients, but from what I've seen, I would be seriously limited as far as professional watercolor paints go. I mean, Da Vinci are vegan, but I can't really get them easily where I'm from. Um, the good news is the student grade paints for both of these brands, so the Academy range and most of the Cotton range are vegan, so woohoo! <laughs> and by the way, for those of you who believe Kuretake Gansai Tambi paints are vegan, turns out they're not. Major bummer. So now we need a green. Uh, Windsor green with Faro green. I think they're kind of similar. This one for Schminke. And the second one. Ah, oh, yeah, they're similar. That's nice. <laughs> I can tell you right now, these are so similar. Uh, I think, uh, I don't know how I'm supposed to tell which one is best, to be honest. I don't think I'm equipped to do this. <laughs> okay, so yellow ochre. There's always a yellow ochre in any set I own. There's always, oh, this one's tinted with green. In every set I own. Hmm. I can definitely tell the difference. Okay, and now there's black. So, lamp black and ivory black, I think. And ivory black is this one. I also kind of feel like I have to mention that Mizuno Newton pants come wrapped in plastic, whereas Schminkes come wrapped in paper, which I prefer, of course. And if you watch the unboxing for both of the videos, you can tell how much a difference in waste that is. Even 24 half pants produce a lot of plastic when you unwrap them. So if that's a factor for you, Schminke is the brand you want. Okay, I think I did pretty good with the colors. Did a little bit of bleeding here, sorry about that. They're not quite dry yet but I think they're really, really similar. What I can say, I guess, if I was nitpicking, um, Schminke colors are a bit more creamy to work with than Winsor Newton. They activate a little bit uh, faster. For example, this black took two coats, this one two. These mostly just took one. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say because that's all I have to say, to be honest. They are very similar. They're both great and I love them both so far. <laughs> But we will come back to them before the video ends, when they're nice and dry. A clear win for Windsor & Newton, as far as I'm concerned, is there's no white in this set. I don't use white watercolor paint in my work, so to see a white on a set is kind of a waste of space for me. And the Schminke Horridan set has two. A metallic one they call silver, even though it really is just white, and a white one. <laughs> Windsor & Newton uses its 24 slots much more wisely, for me at least, because white just doesn't make sense for me. If you want lighter watercolors, you add more water. White would be good for like pastels or something, I guess. You know, I have to say, Schminke Horridan paints are bold. There's really no other way to put it. But they also have a softness to them that I truly love. In this blue, you can see all the different shades, and I think that's just gorgeous. Here, for example, this one doesn't do that, but if you compare here, 
this I think it's a bit more aggressive it's not as subtle as soft and at the same time you still have all the vibrancy right these are beautiful colors so I will give you that I guess the biggest con I see people mention about Schmincke Horidam is that they tend to take a mind of their own if you use too much water, which is something I do struggle with. I often get hard edges because of it, which I don't like at all. I don't have quite the same problem with Wizard and YouTube. In a way, it's like they're more reliable. But, you know, I also have to say this all has to do with my skills too, right? If I did it properly, I probably wouldn't notice a difference. <laughs> okay, so next we'll play with these a little bit. Let's try wet and wet to see how they bloom, how they blend. So we wet this, so we get this little bit wet. And what color shall we use? Let's use this pretty. And this is how they bloom. Let's go for Windsor and Newton with this color, which is my absolute favorite. Yeah, it's pretty nice too. This is a beautiful blue, by the way. These blooms are a little bit more controlled than these. Maybe paint these a little bit. You know, this is a pretty rugged paper, so the effect is absolutely gorgeous. Don't know if you can tell. Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm actually thinking for this, they're so kind of wet. Let's do some blooms in color. Right? I need darker ones, so I can do this one. Yeah. Indigo. This one doesn't have indigo. It's such a shame. I really love it. Okay, now these blooms look more controlled than these. Oh, I'm so confused. <laughs> what is going on here? So first, you know, when it was on wet paper, these blooms were larger than these. Now, these seem to be larger than these, although these are getting pretty big. I just have to wait it out and see what happens. With different colors. Always like on that. Always like to test that. So I'll go with a little bit of red. And then we'll go with a little bit of blue. Oh, I have some white on my brush. Ooh, you're almost meeting. Then I go back to the red, go down. So, a little bit of blue too. And let's just see how they work their magic. These are two very contrasting colors, I am very much aware of that. So for Schminka, let's just go ahead with the red. I guess I'm using this one. And this is the light one. So this one. And then go for a darker blue. Not too dark, but that's okay. First of all, loving these. These are gorgeous. Not exactly what I wanted, but I still love them nonetheless. And then, you can definitely see these ones blending a little bit better than these. These have a clear separation, they're just branching out. These are mixing, which is exactly what we wanted. Yeah, I think Schminke takes this one. Okay, now for a little bit of lifting. A little blob here. I've totally changed colors, but that's okay. And a little blob here. And now we just wait for them to dry. And we are going to try and do a little bit of lifting once these are dry. Uh, it's something I use to create a light effect. You have darker colors for the shadows, but if you lift a little bit of color in like the middle of what you're painting, like a vase or a fruit, whatever really, it will look like you've got light shining on that spot and it just adds dimension to your object. However, you do have a lot of colors, even great quality colors that stain the paper, making it a little bit harder to lift. Also, not all paints once dried are liftable. Liftable, is that a word? Let me get my heat gun and dry these a little bit. Okay, let's try and lift. See a little bit. Yeah. 
can definitely see the lift. Let's see with this one how they do. Yeah, these lift too. Not very much. I have watched paints lift much easier, you know, even without me wanting them to, but they definitely lift. And I think this is actually a good thing, you know? Like I said, you just don't want colors that lift too easily. Like, imagine you're doing layers. You paint the first layer, wait for it to dry, and then add a second layer. You don't want the first layer to reactivate with the wet paint of the second, because if it does, they'll just blend. Or if you're just using water because you're going with wet on wet, you're lifting the paint. That's not what you want. <laughs> the fact that these aren't that easy to lift, but they do lift if you keep going, I think it's the perfect combination. So our very last test before we paint is transparency, okay? Let's see we do a petal. Just like that, something really, really simple. Now we go here and we do the exact same thing. If I don't think this is the right color, but that's okay. I'm doing something a little bit stronger with this. I am trying to make them as similar as I possibly can. Like... Something like this. And over here. Okay, and this surprised me a little bit. Let me see if I can show you closer. So you see here, you can definitely see on the Schminke the part where both layers overlap, right? It's this darker one right here. On the Windsor & Newton, there's definitely something there, but it's not quite as clear. Now, I know I used a lot of paint, but that was the whole point. You know, if I was going to use a very thin amount of paint, it would be very obvious and I wanted to make this quite hard. You know, these paints are very high quality, so I thought I'd make life a bit harder for them. So, you know, for this one, I even used more paint. I made it darker than the first layer. For this one, um, yeah, I did the, actually did the same thing. These, the second layer is darker uh, just to make life a little bit harder for them. And definitely Schminke seems to be the winner with this one. But you know, I am grasping at straws here. It really is such a small difference. Over here, you can see the colors. The only thing I can see is that this one, you know, fades much lighter, much softer. This is a bit more rash. You know, even this one, it just fades naturally. It's more subtle, like we talked about. But except for that, these are all very vibrant, these are all very gorgeous, and I love them all. Over here, oh, well, it's kind of the same thing. Here, it's it just, I guess the, the one thing that's obvious for all these exercises is Schminke paints just blend nicer, I guess, more subtle. And that's not necessarily what you're going for, but if it is, then Schminke is the thing. Here, you can definitely see the blooms here, the same thing. They mixed naturally in the Schminke. Here you see a clear line between the two colors. Same thing here. The blooms blended over here. You can clearly, oops, that's still not very, very dry. Here you can clearly see the outlines of each bloom. Now it kind of depends on what you want. You know, if you want subtlety, it's Schminke. If you want the contrast, the difference, the lines, it's Windsor Newton. Both lifted and that's that. Okay guys, I am pretty happy with what we've done so far, but now comes the best part. The part where we get to paint with these beauties. Let me get my cat and get started. Well, you know, it's not my actual cat. I mean my cat liner. I'm not gonna paint my cat with watercolors. <laughs> so, split it in half. One side is Schminke and the other one's Windsor & Newton. Let's see how this goes.
Of course, I screwed up with this one, but uh, hopefully I can cover it up and paint the schminke on this side. So let me just dry so I don't get my hands all dirty and just messed it up even more. And then we'll just keep going. Okay, so now we set this one aside. And we go back to this one.
Okay guys, and here we have it. This was no easy fit. I must admit, I thought this would be a much easier drawing. <laughs> it wasn't at all, it was a mess. Uh, yeah, but it is done and I kind of love it. <laughs> Overall, I'm still very much impressed with Schmincke Horden. They're beautiful paints, they're gorgeous to work with, easy to activate and create beautiful, long-lasting paintings that even a beginner can notice a difference in the outcome. Good quality watercolor paints really do make a difference and Schmincke Hordem for me has that little extra something. However, you know, the results can be a little bit inconsistent. Uh, at times I feel like Schmincke requires confidence, you know? You need to know what you want and what you're doing because it's not a paint you can come back over and over again and mess with. But I guess that's a me problem more than it's a Schmincke problem really. But in that regard, you know, Windsor and Newton paints are much more accommodating, not to mention cheaper, which makes mistakes much more affordable and easier to accept. They're just easier to work with, you can go back and lift and rework them and do all sorts of things. However, Windsor Newton's pans and tubes are different. They do not advise filling pans with tube paint and drying them out, which in my opinion is a definite con. Do you know what, looking at this and after all the testing we've done today, uh, I don't think there's really a clear winner in this showdown. It really is a matter of your personal taste and what works for you and the colors you like and want to work with. Uh, overall, these are just really gorgeous, high quality paints. Anyone would be very lucky to paint with. The colors are vibrant, rich, and make for beautiful paintings. <laughs> you can't really tell the difference in vibrancy, you know, in color quality. They are both absolutely gorgeous. With both of these, you will have paintings that will remain beautiful and vibrant for a very long time. So for me personally, I'm thinking I'll be using them both and having a great time with them and hopefully share a lot of that fun with you on our weekly videos. Do you agree with my conclusion? <laughs> Which one of these is a clear winner for you? Leave me a comment below letting me know your favorite because I would love to know your opinion. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for doing this with me, and I will see you really, really soon. Bye-bye.